Hello, my wonderful Scorpios. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, let's see. For my Scorpios. Okay, guys. So we have two cards here. Uh, the first card that wanted to come out for you guys is Family Room. And the second card, we have Mature Woman. Okay. What's interesting to me is in the Family Room card, it's empty. There's no one there. So this could be someone who is like physically somewhere, but mentally with you. And maybe people are starting to notice. It could also be someone where like you, there was, there were, uh, you know, conversations about maybe having a family together, that sort of thing. Um, and 21 reduces to three. So this person, what's on their mind is um, focusing on collaboration or coming together with you. We do have mature woman. And so it makes sense. This person could be going to someone that they feel like is more mature or more wise for some sort of advice here about this connection. So this could be a mother figure, maybe an aunt, maybe a, a grandmother, but they're going to someone for advice in hopes that they can help them kind of navigate through the situation. Okay. Alrighty guys, so we have the hanged man on the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be involved with the Pisces, split the deck, and we have the ten of wands. Okay. Interesting. So it's almost like something felt very heavy or one of you, you know, again, felt like you were receiving the short end of the stick in this situation, but there has been a complacent um, you know, energy after something feeling very one-sided. So whether it was a conversation that took place about things feeling one-sided, Scorpio, or it was an energy of things coming to an end, I see that there is, uh, you know, a complacent energy present here. But with the hanged man, your person is definitely, they still care. They're still trying to see things from your perspective or how you feel about the situation right now. OK, there may even be an energy of like reading in between the lines. OK, so this could be something that you said to this person. It could be, you know, something that happened between the both of you, but they're analyzing the situation and they're reading in between the lines. OK, so let's see. the moon, the seven of pentacles. This person is trying very hard to figure out what they feel is hidden. They feel like there's some sort of illusions present in this bond right now with the moon, and they're trying to figure out what they don't know. So yes, yeah, seven of pentacles could be analyzing. The moon could also speak about reflection, right? When like something feeling like if you're feeling unsure, so you start looking within. So I see your person going through that right now, or that's how they're feeling. But I think that they're really trying to dig beneath the surface. They may feel like I don't know what's going on, whether it's because there's a lack of communication or even if there is communication, they may feel like there are emotions here that are suppressed. So what's affecting your person right now is what's in the unknown because the moon card is coming out as the first card. Um, also Pisces energy. So double confirmation if you are involved uh, with the Pisces here. And seven of pentacles, realizing what did work in this connection versus what could have been done differently. Bottom of the deck here, we have the chariot. So some of you could be dealing with the cancer. Behind the chariot, we have the three of wands and the nine of cups. Yeah. This is someone who feels like you make them extremely happy. With the three of wands, there could be some sort of planning. But because the chariot is in front of the three of wands, the plan, the planning that's occurring, it's pretty much in hopes that, you know, things can move forward or there could be some sort of progress in this connection. Because the chariot speaks about progress, determination, you know, accepting both sides of the story um, in, again, in hopes that you guys can move forward together or come to some sort of a mutual agreement. The three of wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, the star. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I wonder if your person feels that they have been trying to get to the bottom of a situation for a very long time and it's like an energy of a waiting game here 
or for others of you, it is someone who is waiting for some sort of a sign from you. Like for example, Scorpio, like even if you guys are communicating, this person could be waiting for you to like break the barrier or like speak about your emotions here because it's almost like they're shying away from being completely open about how they feel. Because with the moon upright, that means there are emotions there, but they're suppressed at this time. They're not being verbalized. Okay, uh, let's see. Seven of Wands. Yeah, a little bit of a defensive energy here. Bottom of the deck, the temperance. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, and we have the death card. So, And we have the Hierophant. Okay, so you could be dealing with another Scorpio or Taurus. This is actually a very powerful message here, Scorpio. This could be someone who's wanting to make peace with the situation after some sort of, uh, you know, disconnect here. And they and you, the Hierophant can speak about commitment, but it could also speak about a higher knowing. Like there's something here where this person feels like you guys are either destined to be or they're starting to better understand this connection. Like in the past, they may have not been as emotionally expressive or they may have, uh, you know, not like they, they were having a hard time seeing past illusions, but it's almost like they're gaining some sort of clarity now or they're starting to understand this connection better is what I'm, you know, essentially picking up on. Um, and with the Seven of Wands energy, that's someone who's standing their ground. That's someone who is willing to, you know, uh, fight for this connection. But they are, like a part of them is still a bit defensive. So I feel like there could the reason why they could be defensive is there's something they're not telling you pertaining to their emotions with the moon upright. Okay, uh, so what's the moon? The Queen of Cups, okay, and then we have the Hermit. For some of you, uh, Scorpio, it could be you that they feel like is, uh, you know, keeping your emotions to yourself or you're a bit isolated right now with the Hermit, like you're not wanting to be vulnerable with them at this time. Okay, with the Hermit, they do view you as someone who's very wise or, or you've learned a lot from uh, during the course of this bond or what you guys have gone through together, but I just feel um, that there's like a, hmm, like almost like a mystery when it comes to the emotions here. Again, Scorpio, even if you feel like, yeah, I'm not being vulnerable with this person, but they're not being vulnerable either, there could be a mirroring energy going on, right, guys? So I'm not playing the blame game, but I do see that there's almost more questions than answers about the feelings that you guys share. So it's like, even if you guys are speaking, it's maybe on surface level. You know, you guys can feel the emotions, but no one's bringing it up, right? It's like, okay, well, if you don't speak about your emotions, I'm not going to either, right? So there could be some sort of a power battle here. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, but Queen of Cups and the Hermit is like, because the Cups energy is your energy, Scorpio. So it means that you're, you know, you're not really, like you're being isolated at this time. Do you have emotions for this person? Absolutely. But are you being vulnerable with them right now? No. Are you verbalizing your emotions to them? No. Because the Hermit is more so when you're keeping to yourself, you may feel um, a bit isolated in terms of you feel like no one really understands you or you don't really have anyone to go to. Um, but this person feels like you keep a lot to yourself, like they can sense that in your energy. Um, again, there's some sort of mystery or like mysterious energy here. What is the seven of pentacles? Ten of cups on the bottom of the deck here. What's behind that? The page of cups. Yeah. Wow. This person definitely, you know, wants more with you. They do want, like, like Ten of Cups is, you know, someone who wants to have their end all be all with you. But with the Page of Cups, they may want you to open up to them a little more. Or they're wanting to have, like, a conversation, but about your emotions. Okay, so um, Seven of Pentacles. Like, when it comes to emotions, I feel like they may feel they're not really getting much from you. Or they feel like you're not, like, wanting to be vulnerable with them at this time. Okay, for some of you, you you may argue that you're just reciprocating the energy that they're putting forward, right? Um, so what is the Seven of Pentacles? Five of Swords. Yeah, very mentally conflicted when it comes to the situation. Um, not knowing what to do. And I noticed like he's looking at his reflection here in the Five of Swords and the Moon card, she's looking at her reflection. So it's like there's a lot of reflection reflection going on about what is not being spoken about, what is not being shared. 
what's being felt, but what's not being spoken about. Because the emotions are being felt, you know, both of you are aware that there are feelings present, but no one is really taking the initiative to discuss it, or so this is how your person feels. Um, again, guys, with the Queen of Cups and the Hermit, I think that's a very interesting energy, because how they're viewing you is someone who's very nurturing, someone who's very caring, you have a lot of love to give, but you, you're not someone who just gives out your love freely. You, you're very cautious. Right. Um, and this person may like like for some of you, you may feel like you have been alone for a while or you're very used to being on your own where it takes you a while to open up to someone. Because it's not to say you don't have emotions for this person or you don't have love to give. It's just like you want to be very it seems that you're being very careful with where you put your energy towards. Right. It's like I don't want to put my heart on the line just to be hurt. And this person may also view you as someone who kind of deals with your emotions and your issues on your own. Like you don't really go to your friends or your family for advice. It's more so like you keep it suppressed. You, you, you know, you kind of like uh, find the answers within. So seven of pentacles being clarified by the five of swords is someone who is analyzing this situation, but feeling very conflicted. They may even feel like when it comes to analyzing the situation, both of you have very different perspectives on what already transpired or what or how you guys view this connection. Like they feel like your mentalities are kind of opposing at this time with that five of swords. Yeah, high priestess, a lot of silence here, right? This person feels like either quite literally you guys are not speaking to each other or they feel like even when they're when you guys are speaking to each other, you guys are thinking about something in the back of your mind, but you guys aren't bringing it to the forefront. Uh, three of Wands. Three of Swords. Okay. For some of you with the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords, this person could feel like there's still some sort of sorrow or hurt that's on their mind, but they're not wanting to bring it up because they're not wanting to fight or cause a conflict. You understand what I'm saying, Scorpio? Like, it's almost like... They feel if I relive the past or if I bring up something that has already transpired, it's going to be like opening up a can of worms or starting another argument. So this person could be very avoidant when it comes to addressing their emotions because they feel like something of the past will come up. Bottom of the deck here, Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's definitely communication taking place or it's about to Knight of Pentacles and the Magician. What I see, guys, is like this person wants more progress here, but more specifically when it comes to you guys being more open with each other. And Scorpio, don't get me wrong. I don't feel like this is someone who thinks you don't have love to give or who thinks that, you know, you don't love them. No, I, I feel like they're very well aware that you have a lot of love to give and you're extremely nurturing and caring with the Queen of Cups. I just feel like maybe there is a lack of comfort between the both of you right now or there's a disconnect that occurred where this person can sense like, okay, Scorpio is not being all the way open about their emotions. Maybe they don't feel like I am their safe space or they don't feel like they want to be vulnerable here. Because with the Three of Swords, you could still be hurt by them or, or by something that occurred where you're like, hey, I don't really want to express how I feel to you right now. I want to keep to myself. I want to attain a peace of mind. And then I'll think about communicating with you. And even if I do communicate with you, I'm going to be taking baby steps or I'm going to be very premeditated. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a very premeditated energy where you're thinking about your every move and you're not doing anything impulsively. Okay, uh, so what is the Seven of Wands? The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Bottom of the deck here, the Eight of Cups. The King of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Wow. Some of you may be hurt because this person walked away from you or you feel like you had to emotionally detach from the situation. So now that they're wanting to speak to you again, you're like, how do you like I had to emotionally detach from you, but I didn't know I had to emotionally detach in order to speak to you again. It's almost like you feel like you closed a door with this individual and to open that door again, to open your heart again, better yet, right? It seems like, you know, it's either trust issues or you're like, you know, I don't want to open up my heart right now. I don't know if I trust the situation wholeheartedly, but I see that this person, they're wanting a new start here. You know, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups. They feel like you guys um, actually are a great match emotionally, but there's a lack of vulnerability right now. So Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Wands, they may feel like, you know, you're a bit on the fence right now or you're really thinking about um, the things that you say, like you're doing things in a very diligent manner. 
what is the hermit? The Queen of Pentacles, okay. And then we also have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person may feel like you're more focused on work at this time. They may feel like you are like looking at maybe like focused on a situation that is bringing you some sort of stability. Because here's what I see, guys, like Queen of Cups and Queen of Pentacles, it's both are very, re, uh, like very nurturing, resourceful energies. But when the Queen of Cups is being clarified by the Hermit, right, and then the Hermit is being clarified by the Queen of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, this person may feel like you were vulnerable with them once upon a time, but now you're more focused on your work, you're more focused on your career, or you stopped being vulnerable here because you did not see where this could potentially go, or you feel like it was lacking, you know, some sort of stability. Yeah, judgment. Like they feel like you've, like you went through a wake-up call or you've created some sort of major change in your life. You know, the judgment could be where you like leave behind an old way of thinking and being behind and you're walking into a new, you know, way of thinking. So for some of you, maybe you feel like you don't want to be vulnerable with this person because in the past it did not lead to stability. And now you are focused on stability, but you're not as focused on being vulnerable or emotionally um, open. Like pretty much, guys, there's a lack of vulner vulnerability here and your person is wanting more emotions between the both of you or they're wanting to speak about the emotions that are there. Uh, what is the Five of Swords? The Hanged Man and the Five of Wands. This person is thinking about how to like stand out. They're thinking about how to release, you know, some sort of uh, drama from this uh, bond here. Like it could be, again, someone who's avoiding conflict or they feel like if I bring up one thing of the past, it's going to lead to another, that sort of thing. But they are like viewing things from your perspective. They are trying to see how you feel about the situation, but it seems that there's something in the way or they feel like there's always a hurdle or, or something feels more complicated than it needs to be that's how they view the situation but they're really and truly just wanting a change here they may just feel like it's very difficult to create that change uh what's the three of swords The Ace of Cups, yeah. They want a new beginning after some sort of hurt. You know, a disconnect here. King of Swords, they want to be honest with you. They want to be upfront. Behind the King of Swords, we have the Three of Pentacles because they want to work with you. Three of Pentacles is coming together um, and approaching things in more of a practical way. So I think that in your person's mind, as much as they want, you know, vulnerability between the both of you, they, they may feel like in their head, their mind is kind of telling them to take more of a practical or realistic approach. Because again, guys, there has been a shift in your energy. There has been a shift in the way that you respond to this person, the way that you, uh, like you're, like the way that you're invested. Like maybe it's not to say you're not emotionally invested in this situation, but you're not as vulnerable with this person as you used to be. And they're realizing this change. So with the Ace of Cups, it's like, yes, I want a new beginning, but I don't know if an emotional, uh, um, an emotional conversation is on the horizon. It may be more of a realistic, you know, conversation about what could have been done differently. What are we going to do, you know, moving forward so that this could be, uh, you know, a fair situation. So what is the Knight of Pentacles? Very interesting, guys. So we have the King of Wands as well as the Queen of Wands that wanted to come out. Yeah, a lot of passion between the both of you, a lot of attraction here and the lovers. Like that's that's really like a magnetic attraction, someone who feels like you're irresistible. But Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Cups, they want to break through in the situation. They're very tired of feeling confused. They may even feel like this is your energy, Seven of Cups and the uh, Knight of Cups there. Like when you think about the situation, you're not sure how to feel, and that's why you're not invested. But what I see here, guys, is someone who wants to... Um, 
you know, speak about their emotions, but a part of them tells them that that's not what you want. It doesn't have to be the truth, guys. This is just your person's perspective on you. And this could also be the reason why they're going to someone for advice here. Okay, so what is the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands? We have the Three of Cups and we have the Page of Cups. Interesting. Because we have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the Three of Cups, which could be someone who was maybe failing to uh, make a decision in the past year. That could be the reason why they feel like you're very held back. They may feel like you're viewing them as someone who is still, who has yet to make a decision. Like you're skeptical because you may feel like this person's communicating with you, but you feel like they are only communicating with you to be in your good graces. Because with the Three of Cups as well as the Page of Cups here, Scorpio, it's like, you do have emotions for this person, but there's something here that you don't trust. And with the moon coming out as the first card, that means there's more questions than answers at this time. So to sum up this reading here, guys, I do feel like your person is wanting, you know, to uh, break the silence here or they're wanting a new beginning. But I also feel that a part of them is like viewing the situation as I need to be straightforward or I need to be more realistic. But what their heart wants is to know how you feel. Because the main download I'm getting here, guys, is someone who wants more vulnerability between the both of you, okay? So my wonderful Scorpios, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.